Bruce here. Mm -hmm. Terminator Salvation, Dance Flick, <laughs> and uh, Night at the Museum, which does look pretty good. Mm -hmm. I did rent that first one, and that was entertaining. I wasn't expecting a, <laughs> expecting a lot with that. Why don't we uh, jump right into our first film, which is Terminator Salvation. Oh, God. Christian Bale, Bryce there Dallas Howard, Helena Bonham Carter, the highly anticipated new installment of the Terminator film franchise is set in post-apocalyptic post uh, 2018. John Connor is the man fated to lead the human resistance against Skynet and its army of Terminators. But the future yes. that Connor was raised to believe in is altered in part by the appearance of Marcus Wright a stranger whose last memory is of being on death row. Rated PG-13 for intense sequences of sci-fi violence and action and language. Let's see what we got here. We're in this future. I don't know that we can win this war. This thing is something we've never seen before. My name is Marcus Wright. You think you're human? Yeah. I am human. Are we on? We are on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Right there. This is the film he was ranting during the film. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wish they caught that on tape. I'll take the oh, Uzi 9mm. <laughs> Somebody The caught. plasma rifle with the slow slide. <laughs> hey, buddy, just what you see here. <laughs> that was what's his name, I think. The character actor. <clears throat> hey, you can't do that. Yeah, that first uh -huh. one was 1984, I think it was. And we're still going with Terminator. Your clothes, give them to me. F <laughs> you, man. I know he's not the enemy. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. <laughs> Is that Terminator still? Oh, okay. I thought we were into Ter uh, Yeah, I put this together. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I thought that was Transformers for a minute. I'm the only hope you have. Uh, I just read that uh, they are using a clip of Arnold in here somehow. With his dangly uh, uh, Austrian oak? <laughs> no, he's not nude, I don't think. Uh, but they're working that in somehow. Did Lynn go with uh, Steve? She might have gone. Somebody did go. The, the women are taking care of that while the men are doing the work here. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> doing the work, uh, providing entertainment to you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Our next film. Uh, oh, boy. This looks like the uh, cast of Verizon. <laughs> Ed, this is a dance flick. A young street dancer, Thomas Uncles, from the wrong side of the tracks, and a beautiful young woman, Megan White, are brought together by their passion for dancing and put to the test in the mother of all dance battle. Ow! He did 13 for crude and dirty wood. <laughs> and who's all... Keenan Ivory Williams. Who's all putting this together here? And oh, Damien Dante Williams <laughs> and Sean Williams and every... Wayne and you imaginable. There's the next generation of Wayans putting this right. together. Directed by Damien. That's the younger one, I believe. That looks like it might be Keenan's son there. All right, yeah, I've been seeing the commercials. Didn't before. we already have a spoof of the dance movies or not? We spoofed everything else. We spoofed 300. <laughs> oh, that's right. They pushed this off. I clipped it off the end, but not here. If this was pushed from February to now. We've done the flash dance uh, spoof. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's do this. From the Wayans Brothers. Oh my God, you bring your baby to school with you? Hell yeah! You can't just be leaving your kid with anybody. These people out here be crazy, neglecting their children. Mommy. You pumpkin. Eh. It takes two based on release that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you? He's gonna invade my space. To become the yeah. one. Yeah, isn't uh, 
dance spoofs and uh, Six Mile in one of the scary movies, which the Wayne no, brothers were no, no, tossed no. out of. Well, you should see his dance flick. He hit the. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, there you go. Uh, there's another thing. Music today. My God. I have not listened to a top 40 channel mm -hmm. in uh, years and years and years. Of course, you hear little bits and pieces of the music today, but my <laughs> Lord. My God. It's horrendous. The few hits that are out there, I hear flipping the past that 92. It's the, uh, what's the name, the American Idol song. It seems to be one of three songs every time I go past 92. Mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? Kelly Pickler. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly Clarkson's Carson. got a song right. out. Oh, wow. Did you see her in Saturday Night Live? <laughs> She's gotten a little big. Holy moly. She's gotten as big as Kirstie Alley has. My God, the uh, the the ass. One and of the, the thighs. one of the tabloids did have a picture from behind. Who is this former uh, star? And there is a uh, big wide. Uh, behind. Wow. Looks like she's full of plow. They still sing good. She sings sure, at least. That's, not that's like fine. Some I mean, of these others today. I'm not prejudiced, but I've been sweet. <laughs> man. But anyway, yeah. yeah. It's, it's her Flo Rida. Yeah, he's a good performer. And some other, you know, oh my God, the music. I'd hate to grow up and have this as the mute my music choices. Can you imagine though, in 20 years, you're looking back and Flo Rida is a <laughs> sounds like <laughs> ancient history. Yeah. Oh. There's Boy. actually a group of people where some of these. Um, what are they going to be? What's going to be the nostalgic songs? Flo Rida. Yeah. Right. And, oh. In the, uh, talking about strip joints and uh, in the club, they got to bleep out half the song. <laughs> All right, uh, night at the museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. Ben Stiller, Owen Wilson, Christopher oh. Guest. The centerpiece of the film will be bringing to life the Smithsonian Institution. Oh, that kid's getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Which houses the world's largest museum complex with more than 136 million items in its collections. Ranging from the plane Amelia Earhart flew on her nonstop solo flight across the Atlantic and Al Capone's rap sheet and mugshot to Dorothy's ruby red slippers and Archie Bunker's lounge chair. No major film has ever shot inside the Smithsonian until Night at the Museum. Rated PG. This, is the <laughs> this does look entertaining. Really? Yeah. I have come back to life. Yeah, no, I heard that. I got that. Welcome back. It's a matter of life and death. I'll tell you what's a matter of life and death. That, that beautiful lady over there. Hey, baby. Check out the gun show going on over here. Boom, boom, firepower. Oh, come on. <laughs> Any questions? You got the uh, Ray Harryhausen type of animation in there. You got Saturday Night Live. Huh? That guy? That's the guy from Saturday Night Live there. What's oh, yeah. No, uh, he does uh, Vincent Price. Yeah. Go, no go for launch. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Howard in a non Ron Howard film? Clint Howard. Yeah. You two make an adorable couple. Oh, no, we're not. I mean, we're not. We're a... not, uh, I mean, we're not, uh, blah, blah, blah. I never lie. It looks like a fun time at the movies if it's 80 degrees and you're off the side. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you need an escape plan. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> there. Get that all out for you. Wow. There you go. <laughs> a late night out for you last night. And a lot of celebrating when you're... Do we, no, no, you're no, no. We got some... Uh, <laughs> we got DVD <laughs> releases. <laughs> What were you listening to, 92 or the sa the satellite radio? Uh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know. That's uh, Christina Aguilera, I think. <laughs> Genie in a bottle. 
Uh, what? Were you listening to 92 or no, Sirius nothing. Satellite? No, you just nah, it. Once in a while, like I said, you'd hear one of these songs and you're like, my goodness. Okay, we got Valkyrie coming out. You might watch that, right? You're a fan of uh, uh, historical films. And nah, no, not nah, Valkyrie. Nah, not that period. <laughs> not that period. <laughs> that period. A little of entertainment there. Okay. Oh. Peyton Place. Wow. Uh, soap opera from the 60s with uh, Ryan O'Neill. Oh, he's course, in a world of hurt these days, isn't he? Linked to Farrah oh. Fawcett. We're not even sure, as this uh, show airs, if Farrah's still here. Mm. They had her checking out a week ago. 62. True Blood. I would like to see this. This is running on HBO. Right, yes. I would like to see this, too.